Richard Southern joins us to chat about some of the day's most interesting stories. And stop me if you heard this one before, Richard, but Jeopardy is searching for a new host. What a mess this is, eh? Right, yeah. So they had the guest hosts for like, you know, 10 months. And then Jeopardy said the other week, well, we're, we, we've finally picked one. And it was Mike Richards, the executive producer, who was maybe among the most unpopular, I would hazard a guess at, as far as the guest hosts were concerned. But anyways, they settled on Mike Richards. But then allegations came to light that he had mistreated colleagues in the past. And then yesterday, some audio tape came out of his old podcasts in which he allegedly made derogatory remarks about different religions, about people receiving unemployment benefits, uh, allegedly made sexist comments about women. Anyways, this morning, Richard says, I'm resigning as Jeopardy host. He only showed up for work one day as the host. They taped wow. five episodes, five episodes in one day. So I guess they're going to air. They haven't said. The game show is going back to rotating guest hosts, Richards will remain as the executive producer. Okay. Interesting. Like I, me, me and Erica, we were on the air. We were trying to angle for this job. <laughs> I, I thought they should give us a chance. We would have done a better job than Mr. Richards, I think. I think so. Maybe uh, just send them over your resume. Yeah, See either me do. or LeVar Burton. We, either way, you know. <laughs> You're perfect All pick. good. Yes, Thank yes. You. <laughs> now, hockey season is just around the corner, and that means that all those mascots will be back on the job very soon. <laughs> yeah, and they asked NHL fans uh, just uh, just yesterday, hey, who's your favorite mascot? And guess who came out on top? Mr. Carlson the Bear. Isn't he cute? The Melissa? cutest. Absolute cute. Look, look at that jersey. Just love it. Love it. He, of course, Carl, named Carlton after the, you know, Carlton Street where the old gardens was. Yeah, he came out on top. The second uh, most popular mascot, Sabretooth. And this is the Buffalo Sabres mascot. Also pretty cute, right? Very approachable, very friendly. I do like, I do like him. Yeah, this is the number three favorite, Howler the Coyote from the <laughs> Arizona Coyotes. Now, least favorite. Look at this. This is Stinger from the Columbus Blue Jackets. That's downright scary, Melissa. <laughs> well, yeah, no, I totally understand why. No one would like him, really. It's terrifying. He looks like a murder hornet. You don't want a murder hornet. <laughs> but look at that, in your look that smile. Uh, also ranking also ranking very low among mascots is the new city news mascot. Have you seen the new city news mascot? <laughs> Well, look how handsome that now, one is. <laughs> don't, don't humor me. He's, uh, we did a, a test thing on it, and it frightens children, apparently. We're going to have to revamp the city news mascot. Start from scratch on that one. I don't know. I, I kind of like it. It looks familiar. <laughs> Makes me feel good. <laughs> Gigantic head. He's a huge head. <laughs> All right. Now, if robots ever take over the world, uh, this one in this next story could be leading the charge. So for years, we've been chronicling here the Boston Dynamic Robots. This is the company. They've, they've slowly gotten better at making robots. Here's their latest video. Look at this thing go. This is not CGI. This is a real deal robot navigating these surfaces, kind of almost doing like a parkour yeah. like does this freak you out, Melissa? It, yeah, definitely. He looks huge, too. You wouldn't want to, like, run into this no. guy in a dark alley, you know? <laughs> Keep that away from me. It shows the robot's adaptive behaviors. Many, though, have criticized Boston Dynamics for misleading people. These videos are certainly impressive, but they're also highly choreographed demonstrations. But, uh... There he goes. I, w I would like a robot that, you know, uh, will make me a, a, a drink or do my laundry. I don't need them to do be doing parkour. Just everyday things like that would be helpful. No, it kind of looks like a star of like a horror movie there, like Attack of the Robots. Exactly. I, I would not yes. like that whatsoever. <laughs> Coming to get us, they are. <laughs> yeah, I think so. Well, thanks so much, Richard, and have yourself a great weekend. Have a good weekend.